Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl Katusia B and today is day 29 of God Teach Me How to Love My Future Husband. We literally have one more day left and I'm just excited to see what God is doing and what God is going to continue to do in us and through us. So y'all already know because we're on day 29, housekeeping, click the link in the bio, subscribe to our YouTube, subscribe to our Instagram, our podcast is in the bio. Um, our Facebook is Pure Love Coach. And I'm super excited to hear the testimonies that are going to come forth after this challenge, before this year is over, because I know that God can and will do what he said that he's going to do. So let's get it, y'all. So on day 29th, the word says that our husband is supposed to wash us in the word day in and day out. But in order for them to wash us in the word, they must know the word, right? So the prayer today is, dear God, please help my future husband to love your word, the Bible. Help him to study and learn from it every day. Guide him and give him wisdom when he reads so that he will be able to teach and guide our family someday. Help him to be meditating on it all the time and not just hear it but be doing what you tell him to be doing in it as well so I felt like God wanted us to know that because a lot of us sometimes we're courting and we're dating people that really do not know the word and it is essential that your husband actually knows God's word right so that he's able to teach it to us and also our children, right? Because again, the word say he's supposed to wash us in the day, in the word day in and day out, but he can't wash us if he doesn't. So dear future husband, we're praying that you are consistent in your word, that you are learning the word, that you do not go a day without being in your word, because it is very essential for you to know the word so that you're able to lead your future family, because without God's word, there's surely no leading. So I, the same thing that you are doing is the same thing that we're doing, submerging ourselves in the word so that we're able to love you correctly and be the helper that we are called and meant to be to you. We love you.